What's up guys? Okay, so we've all heard of heat exhaustion, sunstroke or heat stroke, but not many people get to that point where they suffer with that extreme condition. Now heat stroke is very serious, it's life threatening. And within 30 minutes of getting heat stroke or experiencing the symptoms of it, which can happen up to 48 hours later, you can go from being normal to being unconscious or having a seizure. So I thought I'd make this video tell you what I'm going through right now because I've got exertional heat exhaustion which is in the same category but it's not as extreme as heat stroke but it is right there if I didn't catch it in time it would probably turn to heat stroke so exertional heat exhaustion is when you are out in the sun and you're either training so a lot of athletes get this a lot of soldiers get this and if you're just working outside in the midday sun or the hot sun in a humid environment your body cannot control your your, your core temperature efficiently, especially if you're not drinking enough fluids or you're just working way too hard. That's why it's called exertional heat exhaustion because you're exerting yourself out in those elements and your body just cannot cool down and you start feeling all these different symptoms. So symptoms can vary. There's a lot of different symptoms. You can have racing heart, excessive sweating or lack of sweating, uh, high blood pressure. You can even suffer with a drop in blood pressure and faint. When it gets to heat stroke, it can turn into coma or seizures. So you have to look out for these signs and symptoms so that you can get help if you need help and just cool yourself off and make sure that you're hydrating enough. So it started with me on Monday. We had this crazy deadline that we had to get done this week. And we started on Monday, nine o'clock in the morning, finished at about four, but the heat was so excessive and I wasn't used to it. It was in a new province. Uh, it was very humid there and I got a bit sunburnt and the heat was just insane and we worked so hard. So Monday night, I started having rapid heartbeat. Uh, it kept going up and down, fluctuating constantly. I had a dry mouth. My blood pressure started going up. I had this intense headache and I just thought it was just overworked and the hot environment was just too much. So I took a cool shower, went to bed, struggled to sleep it was on and off i was sleeping and then as i would fall asleep i'd wake up and my heart would be racing and i'd drink and i drank so much water but i couldn't quench my thirst so tuesday i felt a lot better i woke up I, the air was cooler there was cloud cover but i still wasn't feeling 100 percent. i was feeling very very drained tuesday night couldn't sleep again as exhausted as i was i felt like i couldn't sleep and then we still worked the whole tuesday so I was out working the whole of Tuesday, I didn't get to rest, but I felt okay. Tuesday night I struggled to sleep and by Wednesday morning it was so hot that I woke up with such a bad headache and I was having these crazy nightmares. Now I never have nightmares, so I know if I'm having nightmares there's something not right with me and it was just nightmare after nightmare. So I think my blood pressure was a little bit high and my body was a little bit out of sync. So Wednesday morning I wake up, I've got this intense headache. We go back to work, but we go deeper into the country and it's even more humid. And as I start working, I felt like I was going to pass out. And my arms and hands went numb and tingly. And my lips went dry, my mouth was dry. And I could feel like an anxiety feeling coming on. So it didn't just feel like anxiety, it felt like something else. Now I knew I had been exerting myself. I knew that I might have been too sunburnt and I might have been getting to a point of heat exhaustion. So I had all these things in my mind already. So I thought to myself, let me go sit in the car, put the aircon on, chill out for a little bit and just cool myself down. So I did that and nothing was working. I just felt like my heart was in my veins in the side of my head and in my neck. And I, I had this tingly feeling up and down my body. It felt like the anxiety feeling, but on a different level. And we were working at a clinic. So I managed to get into the clinic they took my blood pressure. My blood pressure was 165 over 95, which is quite high. It's not severely high, but it is a lot higher than it should be. It should be 120 over 80. So they were concerned about that. My heart rate was 120 and my mouth was dry. I felt like I was going to black out the whole time and I couldn't even speak. I was sitting in the doctor's rooms and they put the, the blood pressure cuff on and that cuff was too tight. It kept popping open and it was just all of this happening and I couldn't focus. I was really, really starting to panic and freak myself out. But I thought to myself, okay, this is just anxiety and you probably just need more water and fluids. So they took my blood pressure. They gave me blood pressure medications because they said my blood pressure was getting too high. It went up again. 
and they wanted to lower that to make me feel better. So I went back to the car, took the blood pressure medicine, they gave me rehydrate, sat in the car, had rehydrate, and that was about four hours of feeling like that. So we came back to Joburg, which was another five hour drive. Got back to Joburg and I still wasn't feeling right. That night I tried to sleep, I struggled a little bit, slept. And then yesterday I was put on a drip with electrolytes, uh, saline, vitamin B12 complex, magnesium and glutathione. Um, so it, I felt really, really good, but I can feel that my body just needs a lot more rest and I need a lot more fluids. I'm still just resting at home. I can't do much. As much as I'm drinking, I'm still extremely thirsty, but I'm having lots of rehydrate and just keeping cool. So the main thing is to just keep your body cool, lower your body core temperature, drink as much as you can and just look after yourself. Because a lot of people ignore all the signs and symptoms and it can escalate very, very quickly. And I felt that on Wednesday, when you're stuck in that humid, hot environment and you're feeling all those symptoms and you can't calm yourself down and can't, you can't feel better, uh, even though I had cold things all around me, it just felt like it wasn't enough and it felt like it could have gone a lot more serious than it did. Luckily, I'm fine. I just need a lot more rest. Um, I keep having fluctuations of rapid heartbeat and feelings of high blood pressure every now and then, but it seems to be slowing down and slowly I'm starting to feel like myself again. So I just wanted to tell everyone my experience so that if you are experiencing anything, if you've been in the sun, if you're working really, really hard outdoors and it's a hot, humid environment and you just feel like something's not right, just get yourself checked. Make sure that you're cool, you're drinking enough fluids because one thing about me, if I'm working outside and you start sweating, it's a normal symptom, but now lack of sweat, I could feel as hot as I was. I felt extremely hot and I've got no sweat on my, my forehead. It's just, it's weird. So I can feel like my nervous system is out of sync. Everything's not functioning 100%. And I think it's gonna take me a few more days to just feel normal again and feel myself. But these are just signs and symptoms to look out for because heat stroke is very, very serious. You can go from being normal to having seizures and coma within 30 minutes. So look after yourself, put lots of sunscreen on, drink lots of water throughout the day, keep safe, and I'll see you guys soon.